Ladies and gentlemen, Colin Geddes here from General Bounder Podcast fame. Just a quick uh, message to tell you to get on over to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash General Bounder Podcast. You'll access tons of content. We've got extra podcasts going up every week. We've got documentaries, behind the scenes documentaries. We've got comedy specials. It's all over there. If you if you go in at the pro elite level of five pounds a month, you'll get all that shit. And that's all I'm here to tell you guys. Get after it. For this ad break, take a moment to survey your thoughts. What are you holding on to? I'll wait. Let go of your to-do list and pending projects and focus on your breath. We all need a few moments in the day where, where we are at one with ourselves, guys. And Calm can help. Our new sponsor, the Calm app. Everybody knows it. You go on there for your, your adult sleep stories, you know, your breathing techniques, your meditation, your guided meditation. Well, they now sponsor this podcast because this is a very calm, relaxing podcast. If anyone needs this app, let me tell you, it's me. Okay, we're partnering with Calm. It's the number one mental health wellness app to give you the tools uh, that improve the way you feel. Clear your head with the guided daily meditations. Improve your focus with Calm's curated music tracks. Now, if there's anyone that needs focus, it's this guy. Um, and drift uh, off to dreamland with Calm's imaginative sleep stories for children and adults. Um, I have used, we, we did use these in our household at one point, and there's one with Matthew McConaughey, and at the start, he's like, well, hello there, and I swear to God, I never made it past that bit. He was like, well, hello there, and I was in a coma. Amazing stuff. Uh, if you go to calm.com forward slash banter, you'll get a limited uh, time offer of 40% off. That's quite substantial. 40% off. 40% off is quite substantial uh, on the yearly uh, subscription for Calm. Uh, over 100 million people around the world use Calm to take care of their minds, sleep more, stress less, live better with Calm. Calm.com forward slash banter. Be well, guys. The General Banter Podcast with Colin Jettis. We'll do the ads after. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Banter Podcast. My guest today, the elusive and sexy Mark McCarney. Hello. He had the glasses off the whole time, and now that we've got serious, he put them on. I was just saying, what have I day just before you started then? <laughs> would, you, would you release it? The, the most hits of anything. Mm. You just fucking lying there, stiff. Well, I'm not, you, I'm not too. You would, sh you would shite yourself immediately if you died. That's, that's real. Uh, you only do that if you're pregnant or dead. True. Mm. Like you, uh, the smell would give it away. I'd be like, he's, only, he's sleeping, and then I'd be like, no, he's dead. <laughs> I watched a video, uh, did you ever see that video with a horse? They're, they're trying to like breed the horses, whatever the term is. Ugh. You know when they've got the old stud horse and they're like, he's running around with a big root. Yeah. And the girl one's waiting there to be fucking, you know, molested. And uh, they spin her in a circle and she just goes <coughs> and kicks it in the head. Have you seen that video? I seen a wee boy try to do that with two Shetland ponies. Oh yeah? And he, you have to grab the cock and... Oh yeah, I've seen that. I have to put it in. It was quite funny because they're so small. <laughs> but the cock's enormous. So, uh, it is. Just like regular dwarfs. So, I don't know. I don't think he worked there, but he was just... <laughs> <laughs> time was late. Uh, who are you? I just I just turn <laughs> up here every day. But there is... Yeah, they fucking... This, gir this girl horse kicked the fella and he fell over and died instantly and just... Just shit falling out of its hole. And Not it him and the horse. <laughs> the horse... Although if you'd spent the money on a horse, you'd be, you'd be shitting yourself too. You just, uh, uh. But one shot to the head, whoosh, and it just fucking oh, uh, you fucked like out like you wouldn't know what it. And all we maxings go, oh my goodness, what happened? What happened now? And the horse just ah, uh, just empty and shit out of its arse. And then they're like checking it, you know, fucking moving its lips, and all the horse is just like just. Fully. Some guy just comes over with two bullets, just <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. No respect. You didn't have to do that, Miguel. It was a mercy killing. <laughs> Although the horse is like fucking not shaking around that way. <laughs> no, just tucking their boner away. Put a bullet in it. I don't want to in here. <sighs> anyway, we did a good bit of chatting before the podcast oh, there, don't we? Uh, you, you boys are doing a big show that you're having issues with. We'll promote it on this. I don't know. You want promo? <laughs> hey? You want promo? Up the raw. Uh, <laughs> these boys are doing a show. You didn't promo it on your fucking podcast. I listen well, to your podcast. Because well, I don't know if it's, what's the story with it. Go buy tickets for uh, the boys are the boys are playing uh, the Ulster Hall, 
and it's called William Thompson Live at the Ulster Hall, but there's nine of them. And we might be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there for support. When I say support, just showing you to your seat. <laughs> and that's it. I hate the Ulster Hall, no harm to them. Funny, everyone has said that this, it's a hard room to do, but it's kind of one of those rooms where you still want to do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm well I'm well past the idea of doing somewhere for the prestige of it, you know. True, yeah. I'll play someone's fucking marquee in their garden if there's a thousand seats in it, like. That is the way to go. I'm way past it. Because, like, you know, they talk about the Ulster Hall, and then, you see, we did a similar thing. We did the Comedy Squad live, which was nearly, like, a joke name, because I was, like, just called the Comedy Squad, because it's... How long ago was that now? Oh my god, must be fucking six years ago, seven years ago. The poster is somewhere, it's behind that curtain. Like that was the reason why we wanted to do it, because yeah. mem- we remember that being announced and going, that was like that was like a big moment in comedy in this country. Yeah. And we're like, that must have been class to do. And then we're like, <laughs> it was a big moment, it. and then Shane booked it for himself before we got to do the gig, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> so, so Shane, man. So Shane. Was he not on it with you? No, he wasn't on it. But I think out of badness, he booked it before. <laughs> But he, you know, and then I did the group one, and I remember when Snapchat was like at its at its prime, and I remember sharing it, and there was massive surge in tickets, and I was like, that was me, I did that. So the, as soon as I did the gig, I was like, never again am I fucking sharing a stage with any cunt, just me. Old <laughs> Snapchat still in his prime. I for certain things, you know, not for me doing me faces. I, <laughs> but like friends of mine are still flat out in it, and I'm like, why? Penis. I know, yeah, it's, it's biz- no no one I know is on it, strangely, but then I'm not a nonce. But they so. are still, uh, it's very big down home now. Is this? I'll have to get back on to sell them tickets. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but this is the this is the reality of fucking doing a show like that. It, you know, you walk in, you're like, man, Rory Gallagher played here and all this fucking Led Zeppelin played here, it's so fucking amazing. Yeah. And then you get in, the fella goes, all right, mate, mate, we've no staff on the night, so I'm going to give you, we've no, like, manager, so here's a fucking walkie-talkie, and I'm going to be at the sound desk, and I'll be like, can't go ahead there, and then I'll play your wee fucking rap song, and you can walk on. <laughs> so I'm breaking it, like, this is the biggest gig I've ever done in my life. Standing backstage, waiting for this guy to be like, go ahead, that's you now. And then intro myself, ladies and gentlemen, and walk on stage. But they, even after the group one, um, it was good crack. And then just you go out after, and I was trying to get served at that five points place, couldn't get served. And I was just like, fuck this, I'm not going to, I am not. I can't ramp it up after that gig. You know, See, the excitement. We were doing it for crack too. It was never about Aye. money or anything. It was just for the, to say we've done it and get it recorded and we'll always remember it and all, but... <laughs> Fuck me, I don't know what you need to be doing now, hey? I'm going to do like Chappelle, I'm going to build a gazebo out the front lawn. Nice. And I'm just going to nod, I'll send a nod tweet. Yeah. Come to my house. I'll just do eight minute fucking monologues about race. <laughs> hey. I'm telling you, Romanians. <laughs> I'm TM Trans. <laughs> I don't know about JK Rowling, she's team, uh, team turf. She's team turf, which I don't support what she says about trans, but it's good to see people back in the bog. Mm-hmm. We played a clip last week. Maybe you could. Uh, oh, it's on my other computer. Have you seen that clip where the girl like does the TikTok of her like she's up stacking turf for their family? That's a real old one. It's old, it? but it's old. But the, I, the, the father's like, ah, oh, you'll not be complaining. It's warm in your hole. You're e fat arse. I I couldn't figure out the accent, but I, I've heard that before, and I, it was hilarious at the time. And then I seen the full version of it, and and I near died last week. But the bit where the guy goes. Uh, <laughs> The dog goes, have you seen my middle or did the, or did the dog take it? And I fucking <laughs> nearly exploded. Have you, have you ever been in the bog? No. It is hell on earth. <laughs> it have is, I ever been in the bog? I see you boys putting up videos on cross trainers and all, and I think you have no idea. Well, these snakes? What cross training is, it's just filling bags full of turf. Yeah. Oh, my oh, do, you know who, do you know who's big into it? Begley. You know me at Begley there? Doing turf? Aye. Aye. And he, like, he'll... he'll Swan right off the stage at a, at a musical, you know, into the bog was that twelve o'clock at night, just getting bit to death he's by a, all the fucking he's midges. Something else rather than turf, I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> ours was a kip. Hey, ours was because years ago everyone was given a, a bog land by the law. Uh, you were placed, and it could be in somebody else's ground. Uh-huh. So you could have a field, and some boy will say, "What do you call him? Cutting that for turf?" But there's no you money. Don't know. You don't yeah. know. So the doll used to hate us because we used to drive straight through her house. I mean, we used to do it for fucking summers and summers, and geez, she used to put a pile of gates on, so we wouldn't get down, you know? You just bust through them like fucking and jerks of like, hazard? It was like four mile in a lane, it was in the middle of nowhere, and it was a kippy. I mean, being going, I'm going to do myself in here. What would, 
stop you just, you know, putting the heating on in the house? Money. Price of oil. Price of oil. So all that labour and diesel up and down the lane and all. I would say that's how it works because there is no no labour because you're getting your children as slaves. That's how it's cost effective. Yeah. You have five more children, right? Uh-huh. Get a bog and say, I don't want to see you to September. I'd love to see the spreadsheet though. Like what's the actual breakdown of... Uh, you will be the boy there with an iPad. Uh, I... <laughs> Everybody's yeah. like counting back. You, you may fucking pick us up or we're getting some Chinese in here. <laughs> I know a fucking couple of Spaniards will do this for fucking half a mile. <laughs> Where's our dingaling? I brought him down, didn't I? That's racist. Damn. I have a Hilux full of Filipinos here. I'll fucking clear this place out in half a day, you lazy fat cunt. Pick all that Lucas up. Should have wore a condom and got Filipinos. <laughs> Forget the fucking children. I don't think it could be your father. Hey, I don't know if I'd have a possibility. Oh. Okay, could I? It's a, it's a, this is the, this is the, the bit about parenthood is like, you think you can't do it and then it comes around to it and you can either do it or you fucking kill them and yourself. <laughs> like I, it, you go full Benoit or you just cope with it. I tried it, but now the house is on fire. It was all I, I, well, see, I can't hack, like I was saying, like, like, if I don't get my eight hours, crab it. Yeah, you'll hear it then. Pure crab it. Like. And it's not even like. And you then know. I've got up and I can't was thrown up over the top of me. I was oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. sir, it's, you need to move out. It's the, the goalposts keep moving, you know, so if someone told you, like, right, you, you're only going to get six hours sleep a night, right? And it's going to be from fucking two, two to eight. I was trying to do maths there. You would deal with it. You would go, right, at least at two, I can go to sleep for solid six hours. Mm-hmm. But it's never that. It's like the fucking goal. It's so unpredictable. You know, like he's like Eddie even will sleep like a bunch of nights in a row, seven through to eight, and you can't believe your luck. And you're like, man, we got them, got him in a groove here. This is brilliant. And then one night you go up, brush your teeth, and he wakes up at twelve, and he's already been asleep since seven, and then he's just awake till six. No. And you're like, oh, I was ready for bed there. Like you're ready to go to bed, and then he's like, no, motherfucker. I'm How up. do ones do that? Like a ye- like there's ones would have a child near every year. Mm-hmm. It's tough, like. How the f- you'd go mental? That's why the I Nazis th- used to sleep deprive people. Oh, it's insane! I haven't felt like a normal person in two years. Like you just walk around, you, you do that like outer body thing. Where you're going like, am I really here? Ain't I? And you're laying ninety on a fucking motorway. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of thing. I know. I think I will uh, maybe adopt a seventeen-year-old, and then if it's not working for a year, they're eighteen. Fuck off. Fucking test drive them in the in the bog for yeah. an afternoon. I mean, you do no less with a car. Why would you do with a child? Exactly. Get that turf in the fucking. So. What do you do with the time? I'm still confused by it. Like, what would you be? What would you mean? Like, obviously, you're not selling it, or do you? Do you sell it if you have too much? No, no, just store it in the shed. You store it in the shed. Mm. How much is that costing? Keep it dry. The shed, nothing, nothing. So it lies there, and instead of. Putting the heating on, you're burning turf every, fire, eh? every day. But ours is damp as fuck, so it's like just burning wet Weetabix. Just donuts. So, worth it or no? I'd be more of a log yeah. man. I like a good correctly log. I was going to say, have you ever, have you ever tried a, a blow heater? Electric. Because uh-huh. <laughs> two minutes of that, you can't breathe, and then you knock it off. You're sweating. Ah, yeah, it's just horrendous, like. But if I think if everyone uh, put a different, uh, do you see this thing there where they're putting um, in the, two electric boxes in the house, right? So they're only getting charged for the electric in the kitchen. So you could literally have a thousand blow heaters throughout the house, <laughs> and you're up effort. <laughs> Look it up. Forget the fucking magnets. Just do that. So, yeah, you just you're just you nip into the kitchen to the fridge and get something and run back. It's freezing. Aye. You probably go into the kitchen because it's too warm in the rest of the house. But you just he leave it on just to get it off the fuckers. <laughs> it's also was like a government thing they brought in. Oh god, no! Or don't no, t- it's don't tell the government. Oh, right. Completely illegal, like you've chipped your heating. <laughs> Pretty much. How cold are cold cheese? Do, like? do you know the <laughs> freezing? Well, everything is colder in Belfast. Once you get in, um, I don't know. You haven't woke, you haven't woke up hungover in a fucking Holy Land's house <laughs> with your face on the wet <laughs> mushroom wall. Father always says, "Like once you hit the ballet golly roundabout, nothing, <laughs> <laughs> nothing." <laughs> no money ah, for roads. Ah, no hating for us. We're just scum. I, I just, I just picture you just in some 
you know, like stone house with like wet walls and all, just sitting there, just freezing the bit out. Well, no, I can't just look at it right. No, it's a, well, it is a renovation of the house. There's big, thick fucking walls. Any time I went into like any country home, I've just been like, I need to take my trousers off in here. It's too warm. It's too warm? Aye. Well, I don't know if it's me, but whatever's about this winter, like we used to light the fire and the whole house would be great. But I'm like, if I'm not, I have to be two feet away from the fire to get any warmth at all. Yeah. And then I'll go down the radiator and maybe on, I'm fucking sweating, dripping. Do you want to hear the latest development in our household? Maureen wants an electric fire. You know, one of those ones that looks like a fish tank. She wants one of those in the living room. And we had one, we fucked it out. Aye. That took fire's balls. Electric turf in it, too. Oh, that's what you display. <laughs> just rub it on again yourself for heat. I was like, just get another TV under the TV and do that fucking Netflix fireplace and just sit there. Hi. <laughs> crackling away. The, the open fire is nice, but it's. It's a lot of fucking hassle. Like it's dirty. Nah, I hate that. Suit all over the room, you know. I, we were in a local pub one time, and they lit the fire. And for some reason, I was like, "Give me a pint of Heverly." No way, Heverly hits you like a fucking Pish. ton of shit. It's I don't know what poison is in it, but like one pint, and you're like, Bleh. and I'm sitting in front of this fire, and I had like two pints of Heverly, and I was like, "I'm gonna, I have a fucking dengue fever here. What's going on?" It felt very strange. We used to drink about Sean Oaks and Oma, which is like it looks like a wee cottage. They built it like a cottage. Yeah. And there's open fire. <laughs> the boy came in one day and he ordered a pint. He went up to the open fire and took off his shoe and put his whole foot under the fire. <laughs> I was like, there's a man his life sauced. Just one foot. He just doesn't care his surroundings. Just he had a cowl foot, took <laughs> off his shoe and put his foot under the fire. Just fill this room with fucking Keep the paint. fumes. Keep the paints coming. <laughs> Just one foot though, like a thermostat. That'll, <laughs> that'll heat the whole house. I get wild cow feet too, right now. Bad circulation. <laughs> the veins aren't what they used to be. Bad circulation in the dick. It's freezing. <laughs> and that's the problem. It's all going to the dick. <laughs> so my legs, my cow. <laughs> Everything wrong with me, my father had. It's his fault. And he oh, had as a cub, I then eventually took it. What, what's he got? Well, turf elbow. He has tennis elbow. Does he? I think I have tennis elbow at the minute. I need to see a fucking... Never done a stroke in his life. I know. But yeah, he's had, he had to get it injected there not that long ago, actually. What did they put in it? They'd actually take out, take out the shit out of your veins, apparently. Oh, why? It's like he, the big string of shit come out of it, like. <laughs> but then he's an anomaly. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with him. <laughs> I hope I don't get all the shit my parents have had. Fuck that. Have you found any old things creaking in yet? Me? Uh, oh my god, my body's wrecked. Like I've just recently, a, or just like no, gradually? like probably from, yeah, like from whatever I've like I did a lot of sports when I was younger. There'd be a lot of like even like gymnastics, which I know people laugh at, but like load of fucking backflipping and you are well flexible and, and rugby and fucking jujitsu. Like just even doing jujitsu casually, I was just like, oh, the fucking finger is no ligament in it anymore. You know, you always pinging thumbs and like your knees popping out, like. Literally, like, knees, fucking desiccated thumbs, my elbow's fucked from something, I don't know what that is, lower back pain from, like, a hip alignment thing, like, falling apart, like, I would use, like, we're, we're doing shit, I done none of that. And, and I still, I'll still work through it, like. And now they called me the other day, and I just turned the wrong way, and I was like, oh, I'm paralyzed now. <laughs> <laughs> just one crack, and they're like, <laughs> whiz in, in the Hawkins. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to him. Is it? Yeah. Uh, drop the chalk. My mother called me, and I tweaked my neck. Did you ever see the women that man got? Oh, the guy's f- shagger, top shagger. <laughs> he baffles me. What do you have to do? Right here? He must just have like <laughs> go go gadget pipe. He's like, well, daughter, take a look at this. And it's just like a fucking piston. But he, <laughs> he must have had like an algorithm. Wheelchair plus <laughs> disability equals funny. Okay. He had it worked out like. I think it's probably like smartest cunt of all time. Worst legs of all but time. But sure, the smartest cunts rarely get women. I, like nerd. I don't know. What like, good is f- the quantum physics to me? Well, he's like, fucking, let me show you. I'm having a fucking <laughs> affair. <laughs> a Shermanator. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Two in the pink, one in the stink. <laughs> You're right. What a Ryan's belt. Take a look at that <laughs> fucking belt there. Don't <laughs> he loved he it. Just, he, he had lo- that machine where he just looked at the letters and it said the words. He loved a good black hole, Stevens, with him. Oh, he did. 
<laughs> your anus is right. Sorry, your anus. Hmm? <laughs> God, God rest him. <laughs> God rest him. But yeah, he was like fucking. They were all, you know, they seen those headlines. It was like Stephen Hawking's cheating on his wife with some Aye. with a cleaner or something. How do you manage that? Schools just show you no matter how great a man you are, the horn will make a fool of you. Was it a whiskey glass and a woman's ass made full of a man as a man? That's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Who was that hosier? Uh, what do you call him? Whiskey glass. He was David Haley. <laughs> In the front of the belt, in the belt from was it whiskey glass and a woman's ass? A whiskey glass and a woman's ass made full of many's a man. <laughs> My old dog is about the house shaking that. Drake. As <laughs> 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 old dog says to me often. Aye, and then you know you let the two of them fight it out in your dick. The whiskey and the horn. I think I'll stick to the whiskey. Hey? <laughs> whiskey dick, real or no? Whiskey dick. Well, definitely no. I I could with a lock of pints now I could go longer now. Mm-hmm. I've often seen that. See these children now with cocaine, two pints of stout. Oh, far uh, better off. Oh yeah, but does coke not give you the fucking dead cock as well? Aye, but for like six months. Now is that right? <laughs> yeah. He's injecting it straight in. But uh, I think cocaine might get you real horny, but you're just like fucking. It's like punching the air. You're just like fuck's sake. I, I've heard boys say that, but they're like, no, I could ride for hours, but I'm not come running. I was like, where's the, what's the point in that? Oh, what's the point? Take something that gets it out quicker. And then they'd be depressed the whole week because they can't get any relief. Oh, no, that's a nightmare, man. People are never happy. You take you do whatever makes it quicker. Two lines of Viagra and just, <laughs> just keep launching it out. Viagra would be the same. Just make you hard and you wouldn't, nothing to do with it. Oh, I thought it just made you squirt loads. I mean, a, a boy, my, my cousin got illegal stuff out of this foreign place, I didn't know they were on holidays, <laughs> and uh, they got real super, super Viagra, like, he took it and he thought his cock was going to bust, and the oh. wife wouldn't even touch it, she was afraid to touch it, it was trembling, and they had stuff left over, and there's a soil boy worked on the building site, and one day for the crack, they put it in his dead coke bottle, <laughs> died. I knew you were going to say that. He fucking died. <laughs> And he never, he said, don't ever tell anyone that, hey, because he did a week, about a week later, he died. And they nothing like, was suspect. They're like, oh, I think he might have passed out. And he's just like, just raging hard on. Couldn't close the coffin. <laughs> just like fucking, just fucking squeaking. It was yeah. that. So that's, that's the way that ends. Badly. So you better just. What do you think happened? Oh, he had a terrible fall. Seems to have bashed his cock. It's swollen like fuck. He fell two feet, there's just a hole in the ground <laughs> of pure concrete. <laughs> they just take his hat off and just set it, just his hard hat, just set it over his dick. <laughs> it's, it's just, you never know when your time is going to yeah. creep up on you, do you? I mean, Jesus Christ. That's life, boy. It was like that video of the Chihuahua I seen <laughs> at the Viagra, and it, like half its body was its cock. <laughs> I, was a, I swear to God, I feel like I've showed every guest this, like it's a fucking baby photo. We need to see the way they, they, them dogs are bred for specific purposes. Uh, was it bred with <laughs> go having a big cock? No, it ate, someone left Viagra and it ate Viagra. <laughs> All right. And it was just sitting there. We're like, and apparently, if dogs get a real route, the balls come out and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Same with me. <laughs> I tend to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> Viagra or not? <laughs> you see this for fun? I can't believe I've shown this to fucking 10 people in a row here. On this podcast, can you hear that? Yeah, I think so. Oh, fuck me. So, the, <laughs> there's a packet of fire. Is it where you see a side of this <laughs> guy? Trembling in the corner. <laughs> it's no blood left in its body. It's just like. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, fucking hell. Uh, I didn't think it would work on an animal, eh? Well, it's the same dr- You know, it should, it, should, it should work on anything. What would happen if you give it to a woman? Just over his <laughs> like drop out of her. <laughs> just a clit on her like a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like a punching bag? <laughs> Like a fucking oh. budgie's tongue. <laughs> 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 the 
it's just fucking pulsating. It is made. <laughs> it is made ten times funnier that it's like the smallest chihuahua you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, I'd probably react the same to that dog <laughs> if I took a dose of Viagra. You probably what? I'd react the same. Yeah, and I'd just die like that other fellow. <laughs> <laughs> he died the way he went. Rock hard. <laughs> oh, fucking stiff as a cobra. <laughs> Why? I, lo- I can't believe. Like they wouldn't. <laughs> like they wouldn't do like an autopsy or something. They're like any blood work of a guy just dropped dead on a building site. Well, well. Well, he was right age. I just thought natural causes. Like, natural causes. But he, he put it in a day of coke, and he thought that that would maybe <sighs> dilute it. Because he <sighs> said, like, as soon as he took it an hour later, he was like, everything was just. Uh, he says his whole body, he'd feel nothing on his cock. Is this legal stuff? And so this is an error, and they thought it would be wild funny. That's why they gave it to him, because it was like 9 o'clock in the morning. They thought this boy would be fucking wild funny all day. Didn't take a flinch in him. So they thought it might have been a delayed reaction, because they had coke, and then just all at once killed him. It's like a detective drama. You're <sighs> like, did he just die by chance? No, you'd, Netflix is running out of ideas. That's or was it the, the Or was it the cock pill? So no, I think I'll just bog standard sex. I'll stick to thir- I, yeah, I don't thirty need, seconds. I don't need an app. I, any, I I need the fucking chemical castration to get some work done around here. Whatever they do to fucking sex offenders, like take that pill and your balls go away. I need that sort of periodically <laughs> for about a week to get some shit done around here. Fuck, I, any 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 wild mad fetishes? Me? No, not really. I like socks. Long socks. Right, what other dogs have boners here? <laughs> oh, you like long socks? But that's like as a look. Like boys say to me, like they say these, like you know, they love this fucking weird stuff of you know she's pulling you off and your balls are stuck in the car door or whatever, and you're like, yeah. why? Yeah, I don't get these. Well, like yours doesn't really sound like a fetish. Ah, it's more. A, uh, just like oh, it's nice, isn't it? Aye, but I would never want to be like whipped in the balls or yeah, so you can't come unless you're. I call me old all bad names, or you know, it, it's well. I've often said it'd be it'd be handy enough to have a real fetish where you're like, you know, you're like I don't want to bother you, but if you could leave me with te- ten minutes with this flip flop, do you know what I mean? I've got a real food. F- I'm just like, you know, I want to. F- I've got a. I've I've taken a wee diet coke and a pill here. I know you can't be arsed, but if you just want to leave that high heel here, I'll just shove my cock in it and then put the bag on. She's like, what the fuck? Aye. Oh, but so even like Louis C.K., I always, could never get my head wrapped around how that would... Like you want people to... W- watch you... Why? There is email and look. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. But yeah, it's weird. Something has to happen. But they always say like... Like I'm so, usually like at home in the wank, I'm like... <clears throat> It's all depressing. Aye, but he's like... You know, I know that's probably some sort of like shame, you know, like... You know, something happened to him when he was younger, and now he's like, I find that like, because that's what they say. Like, mm. as you're like developing sexually, like puberty and all, if you see something or something happens to you around that time, and you're like massively influ- influenced, and you don't know or, it, or susceptible to things, it kind of gets in there. So I was just probably looking at the fucking clothesline too much. Like, look at them socks. Aye. You're like, I've fucking jizzed in many a sock, and now you're wearing it. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting we're there. We're breaking boundaries. <laughs> we're crying. Welcome back to Get Us Third. and the Mind. <laughs> we're joined now, we're cracking with ankle socks. Oh, yeah, that's that's what it is. Just decades of, of you just pumping loads in the fucking a pair of GAA socks, and then you see a girl wearing them, and you're like... Mm. friend of mine, he says he can't have sex unless he's buck naked. Like, even if it's a quickie, he can't even have socks on. has to be completely... I think that's weird as fuck. Who said this? A friend of mine. Dino? No. Say his name. Okay. <laughs> Mickey Bartlett. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he'd fuck you through a fucking letterbox, I can't. Or the hazmat suit? <laughs> he'd take, he'd what he's take a fucking... Yeah, he'd take a hand job <laughs> through fucking, like... I don't know. A barbed wire fence? One of them things you, you pick up letter with. <laughs> he's just... He's a peg, like. Um... <laughs> But uh, some of the things I've seen that he showed me on his phone in through the years, you know. That was sent to him or? That it just, you know, he'd be like, like quite literally one night he was like, oh, I was out on a wee date last night. I was like, oh, cool. And he's like, oh, she sent me a video there. And you're like, what is it? And, it was, and she's literally like fucking, you know, like sitting on the gear stick of her car. And you're like, oh, that's cool. And you're going to bring her in here someday to love reason. I'm going to have to act like uh, <laughs> like I haven't seen a gear stick in her. Asshole. Oh, no. So you're in the socks. 
Well, I can't think of anything else that would really like. I'd go. Oh. Be, but but again, that's just uh, that is a wee preference. But it'd be funny if you just you know, first night you know head headed off on Tinder with someone, and you're just like, see before we get down to it here, and you have a fresh pack of like <laughs> Celtics at you. Like I remember, like I I'm very straight bread and butter Catholic sex. Like uh, I mean, I mean the first doll asked me between to, a priest and a boy, <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way I like it. A doll asked me to choke her once. Uh, I was like, everyone has these stories now. Like you and fucking McCann and all doing these stand up sets. Like oh, this girl asked me to fucking DD tear through a table. But you don't understand the world I came from. Like very honest, we country cub, and then next thing dolls asked me to choke them. I'm like, what? I think there's something going on there. And then they're kind of like trying to make you out like, oh, what, what are you, gay? You don't want to do it? And like, no, I could do jail. Was, she, was she a big capable girl, was she? Why do you assume that? <laughs> I think there's some sort of dynamic going on where, where girls would be like, I feel safe enough for you choking me. No, she actually was very fat. Was she? I have to say. Right? You get her in the fucking rear naked, lock it up. <laughs> Choke on that, you bastard. She's out in the boot, you want to ask her. What if... <laughs> The slippery slope. <laughs> I watch too much UFC. I be like, what sort of choke are we talking? Am I still able to fuck in a fucking Von Flew choke? I was like, I was sitting there doing it. I was like, is that all right? Is that fine there? And she's like, you're actually very good at it. You know when to stop. I was like, I'd like to think so because you'd be dead, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Uh, I was like, I'd be getting too tactical with a fucking I turn into Joe Rogan. It's not under the chin, and you know, <laughs> just getting her by the two fucking arteries, and I fucking. You don't no. think you're going out, but you'll go out. You'll go, just, there she is, there she's I away. I just, like, straight let me lay down and have you sex. <laughs> like fucking in-betweeners with your uh, the arms down like this. With, two, <sighs> with both of us socks on because I have bad feet. And bad looking or just bad? <laughs> bad looking. <laughs> bad looking feet. <laughs> you said to me, I had an idea for a sketch about lads selling, like, foot pictures or something. You're like, oh, great, great. You've, you've cast the right person. My feet are terrible. Well, to be honest, it was a, it was a secret of trying to keep the rest of my life, but I have very, I have very disabled feet. Like, what is that all turf? No, I just lost turf burglar. I have no toenails <laughs> across the board. Like, I tell you, I lost them. the year. Foot and mouth came out. They just <laughs> dropped off. <laughs> foot and mouth. I bit them off. I had. It was quite serious. I'd learn to walk again. No. Hold on a second. It, what you so, actually got foot and mouth? No, 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 it was just the year of it, because I remember it was the year of foot and mouth, because mine... Post- what a coincidence, though, you'd shit yourself, The you? postman couldn't come up the lane. <laughs> and right. I remember I was practising walking up and down the lane to get post. That's how I always remember was the year of foot and mouth came. But I had to, like, uh, it had to come off, because it was ingrown. Uh-huh. And so I had to get the surgery to get the whole nail in the bed out, No, All of them, all ten of them. I threw that away in anger. No, you've only two, two, two toenails. <laughs> Big toenails now. Aye. Aye. The two of them. But you don't have nails on the all thumb, of them. The thumbs of the feet. Aye. <laughs> your thumbnails of the toes, yeah. Aye. So both of them are off. They're gone. But Do you the, just have two wee cocks for toes? They grew back real retarded. Okay. So there's one that's always pointing towards our. It's like, <laughs> no, no, your toenail goes out straight. Aye. Mine goes, oh. Okay. And they're really, they're bad. I don't even like looking at them myself. That's why I became like... <laughs> That's my dirty, <laughs> filthy secret. Yeah, that's why you're in the socks. And they'll wear them too. Ah, fucking hell. I just trotters down that. He done a marathon one time. And he came back <laughs> and the toe. Neil was half hanging off. a marathon off. one time. Pair of cat boots. <laughs> Feet are... <laughs> he did it. He did it. <laughs> Dressed up as 60s Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down the valley golly lane. <laughs> oh, for uh, there was no race or anything. He just done it himself. Uh, 20 miles. But his, he, he came home, and the, the nail was hanging off, and he got a pair of pliers, and he did it himself. Well, you're fucking idiot. Now, my, both, um, both my feet are curled up in my shoe, you t- tell me that story now. But at least he did ran a marathon, you just sat there, and yours <laughs> fell off. <laughs> you know what actually happened to me? I slipped. Right, in the fire. <laughs> I all had mopped the kitchen floor, and I had come in and went just splits, and my toenail hit the kitchen sofa, uh. and cracked it. And that's what happened to me. Man, war stories, eh? Aye. Fucking remember, war stories. I remember when the toes froze, but I can still feel, to this day, I can feel them twisting the nail off. And there's a wee sexy nurse beside me. Rub my forehead, Pat. I remember, uh, this is not fate related, but sexy nurses. I remember, this is years ago, and I had like a tooth out the back here. 
and uh, I just remember it was, it was fucking killing me. It was uh, agony, like, and you know, when you always get a sore tooth like Friday night, and I couldn't do anything the fucking Monday. And I go in, and I was miserable, like, hadn't slept, fucking just aching. And they were like, right, we you can come back and get like a crown or something on Thursday, or we just take it out now. And I was like, take it out now. I was like, I don't give a fuck, take them all out now. I, I don't give a shit. And the two of them were very attractive and very small, right? And she gave me all the fucking things. Filipinas? No. Philomena. And she went, she went to go for it. And I was like, whoa. And she goes, can you still feel that? And I went, yeah. And she goes, okay. And she gave me three injections. And she then gave me another six or something. I'm not, my, my whole body had a stroke, like. But the two of them, because <laughs> they were so small, they were like, we fucking imbal in this. Twisting my head. Like, one of them's holding my head and the other one's going... And pulling these pliers, and I got, oh, oh. and then eventually he's like, it just came out like that. Thank God I've never had whale anything. But to the do wee one was just like, <laughs> like this. And then the, yank my fucking the film horrible bosses. The doll was knocking everybody out. Oh yeah, it was like fucking wish I could get a toothache now. Aye, if Jennifer Aniston was there, aye, looking like Eggie Pop now. She is like that woman hasn't aged. Oh, she has, Mark. No. She's laying beside you, you wouldn't say, though? She has needs from the back. So that's all you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when Chris Kent said he looked Chinese from the back. <laughs> and he does. There's a boy in Temple who got his nickname 1690. He looks 16 from the front, 90 from the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, she's getting real handsome in her old age, like... Like early days, Jennifer Aniston nipples on friends. Aye, uh, keeping the keeping the fucking viewership up. Just still into that. Did you watch the reunion? The Friends uh, reunion. Aye, uh, just fucking Chandler barely keeping it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a good time. <laughs> She's getting mar- your other dog's getting married in Derry next month. Cox. Mm-hmm. Is she is she going out with someone from Snow, Snow Patrol? Patrol? That's right, aye. Uh. That's a weird scenario, isn't it? What is going on with this computer? Like, how dull is it, now? It's this fucking yoke hair is not staying in. We should get on the questions here. We have a ton of questions. There's the nips there, just fucking, you know. They had to know, though. Like, of course, they you did. don't do a full show on a soundstage, <sighs> and somebody doesn't go here. You have a spare bra about, and it wasn't like it was in fashion then. You know, now everyone's like orangutan titties. No one wears a bra. <laughs> <laughs> like the like a <laughs> that's good noise there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people are like, nah, I get both my nips pierced, and that's that's a look. That's a big thing now. Nip piercing, nipple piercings. Yeah. I seen a video the other Free day. Free the nip, man. Some doll. Uh, do you know that the Agri College is Greenville or not Greenville? The, the Agri College up there. Oh, why? No, it was. Some doll with a pierced tit. She was in the milking parlor and put the thing on her nipple. They're, the young ones now, their heads. Is this are, a video or something? You yeah. say? All right. Snapchat. Their heads are fucking gone. We were born 10 years too late. Too early. Too early. Uh, uh. Oh, why? People are fucking filthy. Like, when we were 16, like, you wouldn't even look at a cutty because you were afraid. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's not even, it's not even, you know, if, if someone who was, like, fucking 18 just come out of school and they're like, I've chosen to be an adult performer. You you couldn't even, like, say anything because it would be, like, s- slut shaming or something. Mm. You have to be, someone has to be fully supportive, like, our son is getting his cock cut off and is starting an OnlyFans where it can be more pride. <laughs> like, you just have to let everything go now. I, I, I'm i here with it. my 14-year-old at Claire's Accessories to get both of her fucking nearly tits pierced. There's a boy down boss making a fortune piercing nipples out the side of the house. I'm sure. <laughs> Women and there has to be a, f- there has to be, a, if you're, like, a fucking grown man doing piercings, you have to. It has to be weird to be like, oh, just fucking come in their school uniform there to get her fucking. But they're like, they're just. Her fucking beast. They're like pierced. elbows to them now. They're so sick of looking at tits. There's like probably. But then I was like, I don't believe that because I could literally go through a museum of every tit that ever existed and come out the other end and you could go see that there tit on your phone. But like, I oh, absolutely. Uh, it's not You'd like never get sick of looking at them. Uh, it's not like when they, you know, like someone catches their kids smoking and they make them smoke loads and that they hate it then. Aye. Uh, it doesn't work with tits. The most powerful thing in the it world gathers, is a tit. It gathers momentum with tits. Like, I laugh. Like, you see these women there, they're like, free the nipple. Yeah. They're like, if men can do their nipples, women should be fit to. Are you mental? The country would collapse. There'd be pile ups on the M1. Yeah. With people crashing fucking lorries and cars because all these tits flying about. Yeah. 
No, okay I don't enough. think I don't think that they mean like free the nips as in get rid of all upper garments and just you know be driving down. Oh, well, I read that whole wrong. Then. <laughs> I think they just mean like if someone you know wants to put up a, a tasteful picture of them breastfeeding their newborn baby or something. No, they're on more than they're on but Instagram and all. They're Let on, me like, show my tits. Because if if we get were, them out. if we were topless on Instagram, would be grand. But if they are not, they would be banned. I've gone against it. I'm like put your tits away because. How you know? I, I, people are telling me I'm shadow banned. Like they go to look me up and they can't find me because yeah. I've been talking about fucking ISIS or something. And you know, put certain videos up and they won't upload it and it'll come down and be like contains whatever. And you're like, I'm watching girls with like a top that looks like fucking wet tissue paper. Yeah, going like you know, click the link in the bio and their tits are boiling uh, all over the place. And I'm like, not only am I furious, I'm erect. Why have I to put up with this? And they're just, or you'll see some garlic twerking, and you're like, I can see the only bit of your asshole I can see is the actual dark hole. Uh, I, can Brit- see, I can see all the wrinkles. Britney Spears, you ever see her? She's just lost her fucking mind. My, she, da- my daddy won't pay me, so she's like, yeah, she's like some fucking, you know, she's just like some newly divorced mother of three on a council estate. You know, she's had it rough now. She's got those tat. She got those tattoos from that sort of like time. When you'd be like, do a butterfly above Who my hole. Who did she used to go with? Was I was never going to say Kevin Bridges. What Kevin Federn. Ke- Ke- yeah, Ke- Kevin Federn. Fed. Who's she with now? Don't Kevin Bridges. I don't know. <laughs> Might have a chance. I yet. don't know, but she seems she seems as you would rightly so lose your mind. I like the, the circumstances talking about us getting fucked in the entertainment industry. She was really royally fucked. Oh, yeah. Crater. I know, it's like, she's like a one woman North Korea. She can do fuck all. <laughs> That's the name of the podcast. <laughs> Heading for a face. Uh, we should dive into some questions. Here, I was li- I as I did research because uh, you have a podcast now, and I was like, I'm gonna listen to him on the way down the road here. Bad, isn't it? And you were like, uh, no, it's very good. A lot of effort put into it. A lot more effort than I put into mine, certainly. Well, I tried. You're getting fellas to record stings and all, and I'm just showing you pictures of dogs with owners. <laughs> no, but I'd be looking at that and say, I don't be playing it, but I'd just be looking at it. Keeps me going. Keeps them socks filled. Erect Chihuahua. Eric Chihuahua. Uh, yeah, we have a ton of fucking questions here. We'll, we'll launch in them. Let us let them take us through. Oh. Does McCarney use any product in his beard? I just asked that yesterday too. Does it look like it's... Pepper sauce? No, I said chip pan oil and spit. Uh, thinking of growing one again, but always struggle with the grooming side of it. Um, does it no. look like it has product in no. it? No. No, just stress. <laughs> I I think it defeats the purpose. Well, I, a beard. I was saying this, like, this isn't grown as a fashion statement, clearly. Mm. It was meant to be a joke for a video, and then the video kept getting postponed, so now I have it a year and a half. But it, it, I can't get over the growth of it. Well, I said to you last time I seen you, you did shave it at one point, and it doesn't seem like it's been long enough time for you to shed it out that long. I started growing the first one in end of January, and it took to September to to grow to this length, and then I shaved the start of September, and be mid December, just back to the same length again. The boys there. That's them early estrogen tablets. <laughs> Give growth. I want three tablets a day now. You know, but four. I don't know. <laughs> They just a black man arrives with one in each hand, and they they'll just all, I take them both. They'll all have put some say the in the breakfast. I think it's trying to poison me or something. Is it fuck? It, is it supplements or is it like medication? I've won for uh, a bad stomach. In what way? I think of an ulcer. Okay. And you think of an ulcer? It might be worth checking. I nearly fucking died in the pavilion one time. <sighs> Everyone Luke, dies in the pavilion. Luke McGibbon <laughs> there killed me. And ones for. Thyroid, I have an underactive thyroid. It'll kill me too. What is what are the what what are the giveaways for an underactive thyroid? Oh, it's just the symptoms. Wrecked, tired. There's underactive and overactive. If you're overactive, you will like sleep in two hours, but your your eyes will be stuck in your head, like be gaunt looking. Uh-huh. And then underactive is when you're just always fucking tired. You could sleep the clock around. Like. Apparently, they told me it's like the throttle in your car. Your thyroid uh. to tell your body when to use more like fats and stuff to burn. That you need energy, and mine doesn't know what the fuck to be at. How do you test for that? I might, I might have that. Anally, it's in your throat, but anally. <laughs> <laughs> My doctor, that's always the way. Just glide the is. finger up there. Uh, <laughs> he's just, a, he's like a fucking, he's like a shaman. He just puts it up there, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, tonsillitis. <laughs> yeah. There's a full moon in Tenerife, and you're having underactive thyroid. Right? <laughs> I'd love to get checked for that. I might have that. Well, I don't think it's kind of a check. I just let him in. I was like, I could literally sleep for a week, uh, and then they took a blood test. And all like, these things aren't looking good, you know what I mean? Like, I think I have an ulcer. I'm knackered all the time. Ever since I started comedy. I was healthy as a throat before I started My feet are falling off. <laughs> Stephen Hawking. Uh, I'm back. Yeah. What's, the, what's the third one for? Rennies? What is the third one? I mean, when you take the thyroid one, do you, are you, uh, you know... Oh, one from your skin. <laughs> full of energy. Uh, what do you call that one? I mean, the... the, the they put it in the market and then they took it off because people was fucking suicidal over the head of it. I've been on it. Fentanyl? I've been on it for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like acne? The acne I, one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about. I forget yeah. the name of it. Yeah, I'm on it. Because uh, I had wild bad acne when I was a teenager and then I took it. And then um, I finished it. It was great. And then about five years ago, it broke out again. And then I'm back on it. But I had to go to like therapy and she was like, so, uh, you know, are you all right to take this? I was like, I don't know. Oh, Lord, Lord, man. Have you tried ahead. jogging or cold water therapy? Ah, I have too much work. It is, isn't it? Give an old I have to laugh. I see the pile of ones go on the sea oh, swimming man. now for dry January. And what? I, they're like, and then they went up to the hotel and they started taking whiskeys. It's like kind of defeats the purpose. But they're going in and they're like, oh, it's 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 horrible going in, but it's it's nice coming out. And we're like, well, that's how pain works. Yeah. If you stuck a steak knife in your leg, it's, you go. Yeah. The, the best part of that was taking it out. Relief is nice. And they're like, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, horrendous going in, but nice coming out. Just don't do it and enjoy your life. Uh, what is that? Is that a dry January thing? Apparently. People are getting in the water. I, there's a load of people. That, I mean, like, I see people who are legit, like, their whole life is wellness. You know, they're, they're into everything. But then I see people recently where they're just like, man, I can't live without it. But then people that's big into wellness, I don't think's well. Well, if it's, if it's too much, like... If I've seen people where they, you know, they need the fucking, they do the meditation and they do the cold water therapy and they do everything just so that they, they're like, don't let me stray outside these two lines of my mind. Aye. Just let me stay or the, or focused. The, and you feel like if they, you know, if they, their routine was yeah, ruined, they'd yeah. fucking lose their mind. If I run this four mile, these homoerotic thoughts won't come into my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You cannot... Just run from the cocks. You can't get a dick in your butt. <laughs> if you're running. When you're in Helen's Bay. There's a new Nike ad there. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Hurt by fucking Johnny Cash place. Yeah. The new foreskins. <laughs> oh. The all new foreskins from Nike. You can't get a dick in your butt when you're doing hot yoga. Actually, you probably that'd be the ideal place. That would be the ideal place. Would you do hot yoga? I used to do yoga. Aye. I used to go to the all up in Tempo. It was all me. It was me and like eighteen pensioners. I see. Oh, why? But the love of me. Uh, and that's what you want. Look at this young, flexible boy here. <laughs> <laughs> look at this athlete coming in. There's Choke me. There's a wee bone after. So my loves wearing a pair of high like socks in front of you, and you're like, <clears throat> I love a good tight massage. Yeah. I need a real big nodule Boston. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to get that booked some of these days. Oh, why? Take me three we pills and take it away. What, were you at the SSE one night? Second night, uh -huh. first night? Uh, first night, I think. First night. We had a sports massage person for the second night. Oh, it's great. And McCann was like, you know, I was like, do you want a cocktail? We've got a guy making cocktails. Oh, hi. Do you want pizza? There's someone making pizza. Oh, hi. Do you want to do yoga? Oh, hi. And then the next night I was like, a sports massage? Do you want to? And he's like, oh, hi. And you're like, I said to Tim, whatever I told him was in that room, <laughs> he'd go in and do it. You know what I mean? Like, there's a woman kicking her balls in there with a pair of stilettos on. Goes in class, man. Boy with a full gym suit in the corner waiting for him. I had to laugh. Let me bring this up. Takes fucking left turn here. He, I watched the wee vlog he put up and you were eating some fucking deli food, right? And then I heard you on your podcast saying, you're like, you know what I love? When you go into a deli and it's like quarter past five and they're tipping all the food into the bin <laughs> and you're like, let me stop you right there. <laughs> Give me, give me, give me those wedges that look like my, like my actual toenails now because yeah. they've been in the heater for. I don't know what this is my taste buds, but that shit just hits different. Well, you're a culture. That's what it is. Is that what it is? Uh, you're going no moisture, moisture <laughs> taste for me. Thanks. <laughs> give me, uh, just give me a That's fucking, so just give me a box full of clippings. <laughs> That's exactly. 
I love that dry <laughs> stuff. See that rice that you brag chip your tooth at, teeth in? <sighs> First class. Anyone else would throw up like and you're just like, oh, I <laughs> don't even, Tanya, don't even cook it. Don't even fucking cook it for me. I'll just eat it raw. No, I get it to an extent. There are some things that like, oh, fuck, I remember this. My Maureen's like cousins sort of live around the corner and the da is a lethal cook. And he, you know, every Christmas brings everyone around, cooks everything. But uh, I was gigging one night, and they were like, oh, we're going around here for drinks and food and all. And I was like, fuck, I'm in some shithole somewhere. So I finished the gig and came back, and they were like, oh, the rest of that food's, like, in the oven. It's just been ticking over all night. And he had, like, uh, so he'd, he'd all, like, you know, like sausages with honey on it and all this here shit and, like, mustard. And it was unreal. But he obviously had, like, a big, like, was it, like, a pepperoni or, or no, was it chore- chorizo? Chorizo, right? Chorizo? But a big fat one, and he cut it into like burger shapes. And there was one of these in the corner of the the pan, just ticking over for about four hours in the oven in the honey, you know. And I, it was just, it looked like a biscuit, like it was just a round fucking bit of chorizo. And I was like, oh my fucking god! Even um, Christmas, I told her to cook Christmas dinner the day before. Oh yeah, well that's always the best way. We used to cook it that morning. I was like, this is fucking moist and sticky. I don't this like is it. Too fresh and delicious, woman. Aye. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it at Leave all. Leave this in press for a couple of nights. Even like, you ever eat like cold pizza? Amazing. Like you used to get all them pizzas. Yeah. And I was like, I wonder if I sneak in here by in the, the morning. Time I, by the time I had it, it was fucking cold. I, cold pizza's good. Something about it. I like a, a sausage when it's been like, all the fat's been like rendered out of it. Cremated and it's all dried right, up it's and got all. got a bit of snap Now if you it. went out for a restaurant and the produce that you go what the <laughs> if fuck i went to a restaurant and ordered sausages i'd uh, name a fucking i'd go what like you go mentally but you go see me after on the way out oh uh, i've done that on. at a carvery where i've been like see that fucking what looks like charcoal that's fallen off the arse of that i'll eat that yeah see see i'm not wrong though Aye, but you want it mixed in with some sort of wetness no that's all the protein i need you're literally just dust you're literally like see what used to be chips there <laughs> can i have that a lovely big crispy chip pie eh? oh. that's been cooked for two weeks. You know, people oh, are like, this is a triple cooked chip, and you're like, no, cook, cook it once <laughs> for seven hours. That's what but I the want. the fact they can't charge me full price, I was see them. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. The full whack, like. Now, you're supposed to get the yellow label where it says, like, 17p, and you've half a lasagna and a chicken. That doesn't work on hot food, though, does it? They can't want to get rid of it that day. Well, yeah, they do. They fucking bag it up. Well, it depends where you go. But uh, hold on, we're 38 questions here. We'll move on from the fucking burnt chips. <laughs> oh, what does it say? On Facebook Marketplace, people always say, state, no scammers or time wasters. In your opinion, is that enough of a deterrent to people contemplating scamming or wasting time? Yeah, we, like there's a guy in Nigeria going, I shall not buy that. Funny. funny. I, sorry, I'm going to have... What's a scammer and a waster when you're selling something? I went to Derragon for a bike there on Sunday off Facebook Marketplace. A bike? A bicycle. All right. And uh, it was, I was like, we're going to get stabbed in here, hey? I was like, I wish I'd have went to Halfords. And as soon as I seen the, you know, the cooker in the microwave in the front lawn, I was like, time to get out of here. Poor creator, hey? What are you buying a bike for? Oh, it wasn't me, it was my friend. Oh. He wanted it. <laughs> the boy kept going out, he cleans them up. If in Derrick Online, he's like, uh, I get these uh, these bicycles, I'm retired now, kind of, and I do them up and all. And I was like, this is fucking stolen. Without Aye. doubt. And then he says, there's a boy come down here every two months with a thriller from Strabane. I was like, definitely stolen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 100%. You know the way people throw their bikes, you know, in the bin a lot of the time? And I go around the bins and I take out the bikes. He bought it anyway. But I have a notion he'll take it two mile and it'll fall apart. Like, Fuck me. Can you get? Can you put, like, um, GPS taggers on bikes? Oh, why? You just buy one of the tile things. I'd be on the outside, though. It wouldn't be built into the running. Maybe not an older bike. Probably, I'm sure you can get some sort of new technology where it's like, ah, oh, Facebook Marketplace. And then the, the joke of it all is, um, you know, you, uh, is this still available? And then they go, yes. And then that'll, and you go, can I go see it? Oh, it's gone now. I know. Within the space of thirty seconds. You see, I was because Maureen's obsessed with like Formula One. I was like, I'm gonna buy an Xbox, and everyone can play Formula One, and. Dutch Frank was like, just buy a second hand one, like they're all the same. And he was looking up Facebook Marketplace and, and people were just straight up asking for the actual money. The, ah, the original you, price. And you get a cardboard box with Xbox written on the side of it? They were just like, oh, it's £249. You're like, they are £249. 
Now that out of your fucking stinking house. Facebook's fucked, isn't it? Yeah, I, nah, I can't you, go near it. It's just shite now. I think people, it's just left with all the lunatics. Been in Hanoi for about seven years. Always love to hear what, what your thoughts are about Vietnam. Uh, did you prefer North or South? And would you visit again? Someday there'll be a, like, you know, Grand Tour fucking Top Gear style where I, we just do a crowdfunded thing and all go. Make a video. Was it nice? Was it good, like? Where? Uh, now, if you're in the dry rice and fucking hollowed out goujons, you might not enjoy the cuisine. But, uh, why is it slimy and sloppy? It's just wet and sort of miscellaneous, but uh, it's tasty. You see, I like wet and miscellaneous the odd time. Mm. <laughs> peppered with, peppered with dead chips. <laughs> no, I love it. It's fuck. It's 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 one of those trips where it's like it's it's not comfortable. You know what I mean? It's like hot and fucking. You're always sleeping in some fucking crate. It's weird. But when you come back, it's all you fucking talk about for the next decade. Well, they're looking at you like, what are you doing here? They look at me like I'm fucking, you know, Dwayne uh, the Rock Johnson. The boy in the sweet corn. They were town. just like, why the fuck is this cunt? Green giant. People just picking like picking food, you know, like clearing the table and just take their phone out from this distance and go, <laughs> and take a photo of me and I'm like on a wee plastic stool. <laughs> getting diarrhea. What's crack? <laughs> it does look like a nice place to go. I'd love to go to China now. Nah, fuck China, man. Why? They make everything. Get an iPhone for 10p. This motherfucker just got a pair of Air- AirPods for 20 quid, and they're exactly the same as mine. Out of, out of, where? Uh, China. <laughs> How much is the ship on? 800 pound. <laughs> what, AliExpress? Uh, I, I've been conned to them cunts before. That there, that, that'll go on fire on you. I know, you'll be fucking, you'll be on a plane, and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> you just combust in your ears, you'll be like, fuck! And then you'll be, you, do, you do that sad photo you see on like Belfast Live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man's man's ears burnt <laughs> off. <laughs> Twelve on the people dead, but good bargain. <laughs> yeah, sound quality great. <laughs> Twenty pound. The sound quality was great before I burnt my eardrums out. I bought a pair of drone stuff at that website once. Just went in flames. As soon as I plugged it in, went. There's a go. Well, really? Yeah. No, I probably wired it wrong, but still, I'm blaming them. You had to wire it when you got it. What sort of drone we make? Well, you had to wire up the lipo batteries. Too much. So is that like a- Just pay full price. Uh, HPV? <laughs> <laughs> just, cut, just buy the fucking thing. I couldn't be arsed See, I like, I like building shit. <laughs> I, mean, I like fitting about to uh, crap like that. Like. Making bombs. Huh? <laughs> I, well, I haven't graduated there, but someday. <laughs> the way this country's going. I long. forget that that's what your background is, you know, like. I'm a tacky. Uh, you wouldn't think that, I'd be talking to me like. Something weird in my mouth there. Uh, well, I'm sure it come in handy sometime, you know. Uh, ta- ta- bombs. Ta- Again. Your, ta- 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 yourself some. Ten years too early. Fucking Could have been the head of the rab at this stage. Head of the rab. <laughs> have you checked out Always Sunny podcast? Uh, no. I hate that shit. Why, why do people make... Why do the people from the show make podcasts about, like... The show? The show. It fucking it's not, off. though. I've seen clips of them. They're just talking shit in their room. Well, maybe I'll give it a go. Um, I love the way them boys done it though. They're very, they were very independent. Like they made the the first episode of All Sunny themselves with mm-hmm. the camcorder, and then they went to FX, and they were like, "Ah, it's a bit shit," but we see where you're going with. And then they give them money. Yeah, well, that's the way all things should go. Like, and sometimes, sometimes like budget nearly ruins a thing. I think that's where they have really perfected, where it still looks a wee bit shitty. Yeah. And but then you've Danny DeVito stuck in the middle of it, who's clearly getting like six million an episode or whatever. Our boy uh, Dylan Osborne on stories the other day was like, "I've tried a million times, but I cannot get into it. It's always sunny. It's fucking shit." And I unfollowed. So I actually haven't watched a while. A lot of them. I've seen a couple. No, of them, I but I get it. I get why you would watch it and be like, "Why is everyone so in this?" But it's again, it's one of them things where you need to take in loads of it. Yeah. To really get the to get to know them, and then you know why it's funny when like. Your man fucking Dennis goes nuts over I something. Or something. Y- you know, like but it's like the longest like Oh it's yeah. Is it in The Simpsons? Is it like the longest fucking shows ever or something? Could well be. What was Friends though? Oh no, it's way longer. Uh, Friends is only on for like ten years or oh. And they're churning them out like Fuck. Um but it's got that sort of because the episodes are standalone, they don't need to like really scrape the barrel with like arcs for like 
storylines and stuff. They can just be like, this one's a one-off. They wanted to come here to film the last series. See that it was all, eh? They they were in Ireland. Like they here. weren't. That where were they? Cause they it, had it looked pl- like shit. They had applied to come here to film and see them film corporations like Ireland or NA Screen are fucking horrendous. <laughs> they forgot to put the paperwork in in time and they couldn't come shoot, so they just done it in Canada. Now it looks like here, but it's not. Now, this country needs burnt down. I Aye, swear like, to God. What the fuck do you have to do in this place to make something? There's some TV show here. Stupid name. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. I don't know whether that's the episode name. Or but, uh... Bring back Glen Rowe. <laughs> what the fuck are <laughs> Nobody does. What is Glen Rowe? A show? A really old, old Irish soap. It's like EastEnders before. Oh, There's just a gay in a cottage. <laughs> talking shit. I got stung by a bee down on a tour of it. It's like Disneyland down there. Oh, God. I had a very sorrowful life, hey, before you met me. Uh, it was very depressing. <laughs> Just st- sitting at home, pulling my toenails out. It's right, chips. <laughs> Watching Glen Row. Eating f- petrified chips. <laughs> How do you think Collinwood fared being reared in your hometown? No, you'd have been fucked out long ago, hey? Why? I'm strong, though. They might be like, who needs a pickup when this cunt can just walk bags but, of turf down this lane for four months? But you are, you're a... Too smart? You're a defining man. You know, you'd, you'd notice you coming down the street. Really? Oh, I think you are. Like, you're... you're like you're, in a sex, it would be like, who's this specimen? You'd stand out, like, I, I think. And what's wrong with that? Oh, we don't like stray nails, but fun, no? everyone has to be hammered into a place somewhere. Okay. But what if I just dressed the part, you know what I mean? Threw on a pair of... I like me. Bird cut jeans. What do you think of my style anyway? I always wondered that. Like, what I think of your style? Uh, I think uh, sometimes I'm like, you know, you've picked a, sh- a shoe or something or a hat, and I'm like, that's not you, man. What are you trying to do? Really? I see, I love a hat. That's right, then. But I, I've often looked in the mirror and go, I don't suit this, but I do like it. Like, you should just go full scammy jacket. I yeah. mean, uh, the dog got me one for Christmas. <laughs> Did you? I was a r- rally jacket, you know? And I was only 16. It's the only start attack. It was like all new and all. Didn't know anybody. And, you know, emo oil? Aye. I was, it said full, full back emo. And everyone was just going, oh, emo. And I was like, what the fuck's an emo? Yeah. I got bullied for two years not knowing what was wrong. <laughs> I'm a rally man. <laughs> it says Ford in the front. How, fuck you. How dare you? I'm a fucking rally man. Uh, it's funny because the world of rallying is mainly just like Arab sheiks. I the old school circuit of errands used to be class, Aye. where there'd be literally a Nova coming around the corner with no doors in it, Aye. and fifteen hundred people leaning over a fence. I and then I'm safe <laughs> behind this bit of wood, and this car doing one hundred and sixty mile an hour. Once they took in the big Evos and Subarus, they were. It was shit. Like it's like it's like Gaelic football. Like it's shite now because everyone's an athlete. Back in the day, they were all hungover and big bellies, and they were vomiting in the corner because they were hungover from the day and night before. And yeah, I mean, I seen footage from. Did you ever see that Group B thing in rallying? Oh, aye. When they had like no regulations or something, and the fuck, like everyone died. <laughs> you know, but like the cars were like fucking <laughs> flying machines. Oh, you want like? Uh, you, you and your fucking rally. Did you even know anything about rallying back then? I used to go, my cousin used to do it. Did it? I used yeah. to go with him, like. But, um, no, I don't know. I need to lose a pile of weight before I get into style. Cause it's just <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, fuck. We'll have to pause this podcast to uh, speak to this man here. Hold on. Hello? Quick shout out to our OG sponsors, Manscaped.com. They've been there since the beginning. They've been there since the beginning of pubes. And uh, since they came on board, we have just been walking around this office and going, what's that squeaking noise? And the squeak is basically freshly shorn scrotum rubbing against leg is what it is. They've got these packages going at the minute um, where you can order it and get the full, you can get the full rundown. You can get the lawnmower 4.0, which is like anti-snag and everything. You know what I mean? It reduces the risk of just shredding bits of shawarma off your bag. It's unbelievable. They got the weed whacker. It's like a little thing goes up your nose or any other circular hairy hole. It works. They got ball toner. They got ball deodorant if you're walking around with those fucking Worcester sauce nuts all day. They got it all. And it's uh, 
manscaped.com and use the code GEMBANT1 to get 20% off. Get on in there. They've been supporting us from the start. You want to help this? You want to help this show out? And shave a bit of fucking pubes off? Manscaped.com. Use the code GEMBANT1. Thank you and good night. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new sponsor, harrys.com, Harry's Razors. And I know if you're listening to this podcast, the chances of you being a hairy dude between the ages of 18 and 30 are pretty high. So we've got a new company sponsoring the podcast. Um, Everybody who signs up for the the trial set gets a a travel size shower gel. Unbelievable. Uh, What is the trial set? The trial set is the lights going out flat out, but it keeps the ad interesting. You know, it's real elements. What do you get? Expertly engineered weighted handle, one five blade cartridge crafted by artisans in our own German factory. Let me tell you something. You want a bit of precision engineering? Get the Germans on it. Uh, handy foaming shave gel for effective lubrication, a travel blade cover uh, for life's adventures, and a free shower gel. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Make sure to support the podcast. Give your own shower shave a go by redeeming a free Harry's trial set. Uh, all you cover is three ninety five. You just pay the delivery, and they send out the trial set. Just head to harrys.com forward slash gender banter to have your set delivered. Uh, start a shave plan. Your freebie will be added at the checkout. That is unbelievable. You pay for the delivery, and they send you out all that gear, all all the razors, all the. Sh- all the shaving gel, all the shower gel. You're just between. You're gonna be what you listen to this podcast and you take advantage of these sponsorship deals. You're gonna be walking around like just a shiny, just sexy dude. Harrys.com forward slash general banter. Get your free trial set. Cheers, guys. Sorry for that brief interruption. That's a very. I, I feel like that's a very me thing to do there. <laughs> Invite you down for a podcast and then stop the podcast to go and collect weights. Yeah, has to be done. And then come back. Do another one. Weights I'll never use. Uh, here we go. Um, thoughts on nurses and doctors losing their jobs if they don't get vaccinated? Fuck it, it's been fuck silly up the night. It's been silly up the night. Now it's like, fucking, here we go. You did? You fucking sheep. What did, what did you get? My booster. I just the booster? Forgot about the first day. <laughs> well, I, to be honest, like I, <laughs> it was <laughs> there was talk of it, and then I actually just got COVID. So, <laughs> oh, fuck, are you talking? Take it bad? No, I don't know how I haven't got it. Well, you see, you know, I think getting it now, which when it's that Omicron one, which is very dominant, and it's so infectious, and everybody gets it. It's like the cold. I don't think it's like getting it. I you know school. start of twenty twenty. But then, sure, I was used to the gig in Armagh, Aye. and the can was there, and yeah. then me and him was fucking about the next day. Yeah. And then I heard you had it, and I was like, that can probably has it now. I probably have it, but it never done. Casey had it too. Oh, did he? Yeah, pretty bad, but then he is a big fat cunt who smokes loads. No harm to you, I love you. I made him go for the toilet. Aye. <laughs> Just a Wednesday. <laughs> Just a wee dose. It was, honestly, like, it, it was at a weird time for me when I thought, like, I thought I was just knackered from gigging. Aye. I just woke up one day and I was like, man, I feel like death. And then it started to creep in on me, that sort of like shaky flu feeling. And then New Year's Eve, I just was in bed all day. Just could, not like I couldn't have powered through it, but I was just like, let me just fucking sleep this off. And then the next day, by about midday, I was a lot better. And then I was just kind of fine. Then you have to wait fucking 10 days or something until you get a clear test. That was the annoying bit. Well, do, does... Is there enough people vaccinated now that really the ones that really don't want to get it have to get it? Do you know what I mean? Is there enough of us vaxxed now that, like they're talking with the doctors and nurses, do they, do they really need it now? Is there not enough of us? I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a fucking snake eating its tail. It, you can go on for days with the same argument. Like. See, I have the first two, but I haven't got my booster yet. Yeah, me too. And I was like, do, do I even bother with the booster? Or... I mean, I have I've heard several accounts where like people have been in those sort of environments where everybody got that Omicron, and the people who were boosted didn't get it. Like Maureen's yeah. sister, who was like, she was in a car with us in Armagh, and she, you know, her husband got it, I got it, she didn't get it because she was boosted. But then she also did have the cold for about four weeks. So, 
who knows? It was wild stories. Like my uncle got it and he took a heart attack. But I think everyone's just looking, you know. Got you, the, abo- the booster? I, took a heart attack? But then he made it. Did just, he have a big boner as well? <laughs> he's just talking down the way. That's the booster. Are you sure? Is that where the needle goes there? Uh, where to put it down your fucking pisser? But everyone's like, I think if he made it talk it anyway. No, well, one, that's, that's ones are gonna go on fucking flat tire the car. The bastard and booster. No, oh, they're blaming oh, yeah. everything on the. He made yeah. it talk it anyway. Like you don't. Uh, yeah. So if you're in the DUP, it's either the gays or the booster. That's. Aye. They've caused something. Oh, I'm a gay. You need to give an A in the game. <laughs> Fair play, then. I wish it was gay. That's the truth. We'll move on. <laughs> Why? No, well, <laughs> everyone's been talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's always the thing. It'll just like oh, it'd be a lot less hassle if it was fucking. Uh, I actually, I think Chris McNaughton said that. He's like, oh, he's <sighs> fucking. He's just like felt, you know, too much fucking hassle with women. Like, like it used to be an insult to go, "Hey, fucking gay." Now it's a compliment. Like, them boys are having the time of their lives. Uh, that's good to be. Yeah, mm-hmm. it has to be trans something before someone's like, "Oh, weird." But then in ten years' time, it'll be. Oh, I heard it'll be like trans species and all. Like, I heard a new term last week, and I was like, "That's the kind of sex I want to be." Have you heard of it? Anal, <laughs> homosexual. You just ride a dog so you can get to, somewhere to live. Oh, what? Uh, Go from house to house. Arm you can. <laughs> right now. Shout out Tim. <laughs> get your steps in. <laughs> get your steps in. Your cock out. Uh, <laughs> Man loves a routine. Uh, <laughs> Best deli in Tyrone. Oh, fuck. I do believe the best deli in Tyrone's in Fermanagh. Someone goes best deli in Tyrone and Fermanagh. All right, where is it? Cash. Cash. Palm Bush. It's far. All those words were just random to me. <laughs> Cash. Bush. What way do you go to Bundoran? You've never been? Uh, no. Where have I been recently? Ha- we went to Donegal recently, but we went to Oma, blah, blah, blah. I see, probably never go down that way. Cash, we'd, if we were going... Would it be as far as the manor house? Ha- would you call it the manor house? That's ha- the far end of Inniskin. I've been there. But you're in the right vicinity. Uh, you're in around there. What's, what's, so, all right, what's the deal in there, then? It's just a spar in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> yeah. But the fucking spread you go into. Even McCann was like, I've been to New York delis, where they're, like, take pride and everything. Yeah. It looks shit compared to this, like, just paninis, like... Stacked up looking like Hugo Duncan, like big displays and uh, take a great job, like. I love a deli. And I still go for the cold, hard stuff. Uh, it would not be lovely, anyway. <laughs> Have you had a line on the floor there? Give me that jam one that looked like you fucking peeled it off your back on holiday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, i got to say that the, in Dungannon, that Newell stores, everyone says Newell. They like, make all their own shit, don't they? It's really good. Like, mm. um, can you shit on Yuri, please? It's cathartic for me. Um, <laughs> I it's almost become a joke on this podcast, but it's based off the fact that I had about three shit gigs in in Yuri. Where, where, like what venue? I mean, it was years ago. So one of them was that art center, which was cack. It was literally like an old blind woman collecting tickets in a in a money tin. I've only done that McCoy's, and it was. I well, that will be its own thing. That'll well, be fun. Decent enough. Um, Jesus Christ, that's some mouthful of shit. There's a dog with a boner. We'll get rid of that. Um, let me see. We'll scroll. We'll scroll. Can you review another classic trance tune? That's a that's a that's a podcast on its own. How long before Morning McCarney takes over General Banter? Never. <laughs> Never. 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 <laughs> uh, in what way? Numbers wise? Probably has. Probably you've got the biggest podcast in the country. I couldn't get over it. Like when it was like somebody sent me a screenshot of the Spotify charts and I was like, Why why is this here? Should be here. If you well, that's the thing. I've always said I've been podcasting too long. Because mine has slowly crept up over like a decade. Whereas you've just come in uh, out of nowhere, which has really like spiked the numbers for you. Well, I've always said, Con, that I'm <sighs> Running down the lane that you walked. That four mile lane to the turf. But you boys paved the way for the rest of us. Well, there we go. But no, it's yeah. Well, it'd be interesting to see if it does, if it keeps going up. That's that's what you want to see. But I've even I was like 
last last one was I was like, oh, fuck, I'm not comfortable with these numbers, which is stupid. Like, but I was like, I, when I started, it was like thousand people, thousand dedicated people is all you want, I think. Which is quite a fucking stretch for anyone starting a podcast, mm -hmm. you know. Absolutely. But like, um, we see um, embrace it. You know what I mean? You're talking about promo and shows and all that shit. That's that's where you want to be. That's big numbers. Sorry. You know what I mean? Sorry, but I'm never good at promoting myself. Yeah, I mean like. Yeah, and it's again, it's one of them things. It's like when you start putting it up audio and then you start putting it on video, maybe some people will move to the video. You know what I mean? It's like you can spread it. It's a whole different ballgame when you move from audio to video. Like oh, yeah. Once you do video, it's more, it's a talk show now. It's not an audio podcast. It really. has to be really professional and clean like this yeah. one. You know, like, I'll, I'll never have that. <laughs> it is. I mean, you go from like, record, well, you put, your seems like it has a lot more production in it, but like the standard, like I've talked down a microphone for an hour. And you take the wee file and you go doo -doo -doo, and you fire it up and it's over. Mm -hmm. That's not the case in here. Like, now nah, I'll do that bit, give it to me, I'll take it home, upload it for fucking three hours, mm -hmm. and then you know, you do all the information. You know, it's a whole fucking See, I, process. I, I, like. I need a nail. Nail, are you looking a job? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what are you going to do now, Carl? Everyone need. do you know who needs another nail? Me. <laughs> We need more nails for this place. If you could just be like the Matrix, where they're just fucking, hello, Mr. Anderson, <laughs> you know, and there's like fucking 30 of you. I had a boy help me, but he's like a media student. And he's like, I know this here, Lance, he's having a clue. But I just kept him as a punching bag. you never hear this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Probably will. Uh, <laughs> you useless cunt. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just fucking stay in school for another couple of years. And he likes it too. Does a bad job deliberately, and you're like, you fucking useless bastard. Uh. Anyway, let me see. Uh, Colin, you talked about doing some sketches, mockumentary stuff. Have you still any plans to do a full mockumentary series? Yeah, we're going to do Hack Job. Um, but this time I'm going to write everything and then just have other people in it. Uh, I'd like you to do one. And then I'm gonna, we're going to do the Blender one. Here's, what I, here's my plan for the In Search of the Blender. Now we'll hear this. Give yourself a week to film it all, and then have someone else film the process of making it. What's that noise? That's good, isn't it? That's them twenty pound earbuds taken off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the start of it, Neil. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> you, you, you get the pilot leg going on the back of it, and then <laughs> and then they then when they kick off, it sounds really good. <laughs> It's noise cancelling, as in it cancels all the other noise with that noise. <laughs> but it's all good. It cancels the, the you're screaming when you're on fire. Don't keep them things in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to see you boys do a Northern Ireland version of something like Trailer Park Boys slash Letter Canny. Uh, we'll do that. We'll copy it exactly. <laughs> do you know what? Trailer Park Boys has loads of series and stuff, and I've only seen like the first two, and that's all I need to see. Apparently, the main guy and that I'm the double of him. Everyone keeps telling me that. Ricky? I, I is know. it Ricky? See, I haven't really seen much of it either. Um, I've seen clips of Ladder Kenny. Uh, again, it's one of those shows where I'm like, man, this looks great and it's shot really well, but I'll never watch it. If there's a, a show with a pile of series, I'm kind of like, that's I can't get into that. What's the What's the top end for three series? Maybe two, maybe. Yeah, him. <sighs> like no beard, I kind of do see a wee bit. If you could get a hurt, you know, if you could a mullet. get them chops in, a couple of them boys. Uh, I've got one porn video to show you at the end there. We'll watch it. Um, nice. Let me see. There's so many questions. Good job on the recent Patreon changes, Colin. Thanks. I get great. Va okay. Uh, you've spoken before about finding out uh, the people from all sorts of professions listen to the podcast to help them get through their day. Since I'm an avid listener, thought I'd let you know. Uh, you can add virologist to your list. I did my PhD at Queen's and I'm currently doing some research into SARS COVID 2. Um, return of the set. Um, Don't tell me it's coming back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know how much sequels are in. <laughs> Not an original. Uh, thought the idea of some someone working on COVID whilst listening to the incredible banter. That should, that's what we should have called it. Incredible banter. On your podcast might make you laugh. My question is, is there any other profession? Now, nah, fuck all that. Do some goddamn work, Dean. What are you doing? You're, the world's falling we apart here. We in this fucking shit if you stop uh, listening to And you're to listening podcasts. to us fucking talk shit. Head down, man. Get stuck into that, them fucking viruses. 
guy sitting there in a hazmat suit with a wee, just, you know, like fucking cage full of bats behind him. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Takes, takes the visor off to wipe his eyes, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I oh, no wonder our country's fucked. Hey? Nobody's doing now. I know. Fuck it Shout out to you for all your hard work. We appreciate it. I know. Although, where did the cure come out of? It wasn't here, was it? It was him. He probably just packed Where did it come out of? The same place where they started it, probably. Beecham's. China. China. And then they make the. They do it all. It's all in house over there, like. As it should we be. We start the virus. We give you the virus. We give you. That's so racist. That shouldn't have started it. What other job would you... Well, uh, you see, the thing is, see when someone goes, what other job would you do? Other than, like, comedy? Like, you, you know, you'd probably be fitter with some uh, I, electric bits. I would be a video game designer. Oh, wow. It's the next step, I think. Uh, it's a quick and rewarding process. Because any... Like, have you seen, like, any technology that ever come up? Like, when radio first came out? <laughs> they're literally doing... The, they're, they're moving a gym in next door, which is hilarious, because I just bought fucking £700 worth of weights. But anyway... <laughs> Radio came about, they're like, get the comics. TV, get the comics. Movies, get the comedians in. Video games are going to go the same way. Viruses. And then, yeah. Aye, right, that's the next thing. Need a bit of comedy for this. So, yeah. Just working on Ebola, being like, you'll never guess who's on tea with me this week. <laughs> Ebola and Pac Man. And Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Colin. Was it Lavery's before Christmas and re-pledge recently? Both well worth the money. That, oh, just thanks for the content. All right, my question. Why do you and Niall bug when someone mentions Newry? <laughs> well, you live close to it, do you not? I used to go there every weekend. Niall used to... For what, Niall? Because I was in a band. All right. Yeah. Niall was in a flute band and they used to <laughs> practice. <laughs> <laughs> there so that's you go. code for dogging. Aye. I was in a band. I was in a band. In the back seat. The cottages. Shade? Shade? Metal band? Uh, I had a few bands. I wasn't a metal band. Isn't it Dave Grohl over here? What is the name of them? Uh, the Pink Panther? Yeah. Steel Panther. Steel Panther? Yeah. The ma Mahogany Wolverines? <laughs> Iron Maiden. Iron <laughs> <laughs> um, Have you seen... There's a, I'll show you it after. It's now playing Strobe by Dead Mouse on the guitar. <laughs> you deleted it? I'm gonna. Why? It's the only thing keeping yeah, the I fucking know. lights on this bill. <laughs> you know the AdSense? Were well, you a good musician as well? Here, they took my AdSense away. Oh, fuck no. Did they? Turn the wind against us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Has Mark, this is the final question before I show you this porn video. Has Mark noticed the deli counter and cash has gone downhill recently? See? He was saying about how good it was on Shane Todd's podcast, but Shane trying to relate to Adele and Cash. <laughs> Apparently, I did. He's a. Do they cut your food for you? <laughs> he's got a holiday home mansion down beside me and never knew it. Who does? Shane. He does, or the wife's family do? Well, I assumed it was him, but maybe, maybe it is the wife's family. He's got a holiday home down there. Oh, right. he's full of shit. Was I was saying it's <laughs> typical. The rich people come down to the poor people, and they're like, "Oh, this is gorgeous." And I was tramping through Shane. She, Shane is a scumbag. <laughs> People don't know that. He's all like, oh, Hollywood and all. Yeah. <laughs> Not good Hollywood. Ah, uh, the one L. Like fucking, you know, machete fights in the street over fucking turf wars and drugs and all. Yeah. That's where he's from. He would pull up on a yacht. He's hardcore. But then he lives somewhere else, does he not? Or he, now he's down with horror. He doesn't he? want anyone to know that. He still lives in Hollywood? He lives in Newry. All right. Yeah. I was keeping that hidden. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll beep that out <laughs> Do another pause this, He also wears a wig Oh well I knew that um, Oh the no, Well I haven't been The last time I was been Was with McKeon uh, He done the vlog Was the last time I was in Cash And No just still He was slagging you like That's a wild dry feed sir uh, Well it was like London's changed him He's all like Is this fur? Uh, but he didn't show him mate In the fucking a uh, panini that fell on the floor too, like. He's <laughs> given off to me. <laughs> oh, he did anything. He's like a Labrador. He used to lob it in the air <laughs> towards him. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neat. Like, for, for the size of me, I eat very little, like, portion-wise. He is like a Labrador. He just goes, you want that? Oh, I... Go, 
Oh, right he's, he's learned. He's learned from the best. He, <laughs> he's been in the back seat of cars with me and Mickey. Like, you know, we were too ashamed to go around the KFC drive through twice, and you go to fucking McDonald's and Oma. <laughs> Just fire the sausage rolling. But he does have a, a bottomless pit of hunger. He can eat. He used to tell. He That's all we do. That's why we're going to America. He used to say, we used to plan to meet up, and he go, I'm going to Cookstown here for a full car free lunch. Yeah. And then I go and I go. Just make it something date fancy McDonald's. Absolutely. Oh, I have another question. And he wouldn't get like a small burger; it'd be a full-on feed. Like, and then he's all like, "Oh, my mate in America told me if you get cold showers in the morning, the weight just drops off." <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I walk around the golf course in Noma for half an hour <laughs> before I go to fucking Rexy Jacks or whatever you call it, dump for that fucking stack of food, it's like, <laughs> oh, God bless him. He said, "Have you ever been in that place with him?" Uh, they, no, not with him. They, no. they do this like mega stack. You know, it's literally like. Fucking chicken fillet, and then a steak, and then something else, and then a burger, and then it's it's dead high, and they, that's the thing. They and then they pour sauce all over it. It's like their big fat American meal, and he he was in there one night with his family, and he goes, the man just ordered this big stack, and I was like, I bet you she does that thing. And she's like, oh, just I I couldn't finish that, now. and then she had the whole fucking what the fuck. <laughs> it's like fair play. I was in it once, it wouldn't be for me now. No, it's too much. Like, uh, it's very... you deep, when you deep fry everything, it's it's gonna be tasty for the you know. Were you in America before? I've only been to LA once. How did you get on to the eating? Uh, we had, we didn't eat like American style, tons of shit all the time. We had just a, it was LA like it was a nice range of food. We were in like, there was a Thai place that we found that we went back to about three times. The only real fat bastard American thing I got was what was it called Fat Sal's or something, which is quite famous I think in Hollywood, and it was at the top of where where our Airbnb was. It was like the top of the street. You could walk to it. And I got one of these, you know, like, it's a sub, but it's got, like, a fucking full breakfast in it and sausages They're, and eggs and hash browns. It is disgusting. In the sandwich, like, and I ate it, and I, felt, I did feel sick. So. I, I know one of the sides they are, because we were, at the time we were in Florida, and we ate out all the time because we were in a hotel, and it's just, like, be, be the sec, before we just went home, but the day before we went home, was like, fuck, I'm going to eat something late today, and it was still a 19-inch Domino's pizza. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it's like I was sick now the time I got home. Was, the feeds are fucking. You see, LA is alright because th- there is a bit of a fucking sort of health. You know, you you could you could get a fucking avocado smoothie if you want. If you ask for a bottle of water, they'd be like, "What? Yeah, the coke's on tap. It's, uh, it's literally flowing all the time. You just have two gallons of coke. You fucking stupid uh, can. Like when you know the hi- fire hydrants, you open that up. You have no idea. You coke. know, like you know, you're talking about like oh, someone goes for lunch and then they're like, "Do you want to get McDonald's?" Or I go on then, and you're like, you think you're a fat bastard, and then you see it. Like an American at work, and Aye. you're like, "Gee, oh, brutes!" When we were in fucking uh, in Mexico, like on honeymoon, which honestly we might as well have been in America. Do you know what I mean? It was it wasn't Mexico. It was just like a fucking resort in Mexico, full of fat Americans mm. and me, also fat. Um, but yeah, there's a woman jumping off the back of a golf cart with two crutches because she's so fat, and then she'd waddle in, and I, I never forget it. The plate of bacon was like something you'd set in the middle of a table of twelve. And be like, there's the bacon for everyone. And she had it on the side of her breakfast and would just like punctuate every fucking mouthful of food with a slice of bacon. Just brack the plate in half. Uh, just fucking devour the whole crockery mm, and everything. Plate tacos. Oh, no, she was a so fat bastard. Thing. And then, you know, what do you do the rest of the day? Just go for a big shite and so go to do, sleep. You can do nothing. But I, even I was like, I'm walking around this place going, it's fucking boiling here. Went to the gym in the place, too sweaty. Like what does she do? She just like get me, get me the golf cart again. But she is sweating just sitting there. Did ah. you ever see that video? Is what is that show in TLC? Is it too fat to function or something? <laughs> too fat to party. And they fell out. I mean, she couldn't get up. Oh, the fucking seven thousand pound sisters she, or whatever. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> just going mental, but she couldn't get up. I would storm out of here if I could. They've never even looked at each other. Like she can't uh, even. It's like a South Park episode. You, hey? you point them in the wrong direction. They can't see each other. <laughs> if I get fucking. I'm about to Hawkins my neck. Ah! I can't move anyway. And then they're like, what do you do for a living? I'm an infl- influencer. They couldn't even say influencer. Be influencer. I be influencer. Think. Oh, no. No good. Still the two of them at once. Um, let me show you this. We'll finish on this. Uh, cheers for joining me today. Wrong one. Cheers for joining me today. We'll get we'll go for some lunch here. Listen to Mark's podcast. It's called Morning McCarney. 
And for the love of God, buy a ticket for that <laughs> Ulster Hall show. Well, he's also good. appearing at Lavery's Comedy Club next week, second and third. Oh, it'll go ahead. Uh, no, do we tell him a spot? Listen, he said it. <laughs> no, it's real. Up the rock. It's happening. Uh, this was sent in by Naomi Mitchell, who's a known pervert. Now, do you know what's this? It's a good looking start, anyway. Good looking start. She just she's, she said it's weird porn. Licking this doll's eyeball. Uh, it's called Crazy Shit. You ready? Yeah. We'll go for it. Now, I dare say, now why is it froze? Well, I've absolutely, why, why? It's not like Pornhub to give up now. <laughs> I know, it's usually... It's the last pillar of civilization is this, if Pornhub gives up, we're fucked. I can't believe we got th oh, the whole way through this podcast and I have been failed. I'll reload. I reload it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that looks like me. I was going to say, surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Someone's rolled a camera in your fucking bedroom. So I, I thought my toenails was the only thing I had to worry about. <laughs> getting out. <laughs> you ready for this? Mickey Bartlett in the background here. The sad thing is, you look at this fucking weird looking guy, this creature, and then he's still getting the ride more than most of us. That's the problem. Speaking of Irish, there, too. He's probably the other bike clean off. <laughs> this poor woman. What do you reckon she's on? Ten or an hour? Oh, here he is. Now, this, guy, here, this is what we she, talked about earlier. The foreskins. <laughs> He's fucking a fucking New Balance running shoe. That's, yeah, if you had a fetish, I think that's what it'd be. <laughs> yeah, me just fucking a New Balance shoe. <laughs> Man, these are limited edition. Oh. He twirled the cap around. Uh, Sun's in his eyes. For style. <laughs> Oh, he's back. Now, this guy, now they have a slap. <laughs> Look at that wee neck flying about. <laughs> he slapped him in the tent. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. So there you go. Just uh, no one can see that. What JD Sports was that in? <laughs> that's that's a sports direct. <laughs> that's definitely a sports direct. Jeez Christ. <laughs> Why do I never? Nothing like that ever comes up in mine. What are these people googling? I mean, probably just strange crazy porn. Russian fucking New Balance shoes. <sighs> hey, fair play to her. I mean. Complete professional there, she never missed a thing. Just, just remember, you know, when you're ever like, you doubting yourself a wee bit, like, oh, I don't know if I can do 10 minutes at Lavery's. This boy fucked a shoe. No, never mind him. She has to turn up to work that day. <laughs> with this well, fucking gremlin bucking her, and then this other dude. Slapping him in the tits. If it was bad at Lavery's, you'd really let him do that to you. This is badass. Uh, well, I don't have a lot of material at the minute, so. <laughs> I have none. <laughs> That's my closer. I'd be like, <laughs> well, listen, you aren't, you aren't biting on... Uh, <laughs> You aren't taking the bait tonight, so... <laughs> if you're bait at the SSE, just take your shit here. I just take a... Yeah, these are new balance. For the last 20 minutes. No God really. almighty, I see that word's upside down. And that's it. <sighs> that's a lot. <sighs> Join us uh, next week, guys, where we will be chatting to another guest. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash general about podcast for bonus material. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Let's go to lunch. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Oh, <sighs> disgusting. Oh... That uh, is horrendous, eh? It's him just bouncing about in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying to direct that. <laughs>